this video I'm going to go over some more advanced and niche features of Vimium. If you don't know the basics, it's pretty simple. It's just Vim keybinds in the browser. There aren't that many keybinds, and you can see them all with the question mark command. But I found that reading this didn't necessarily give me a sense for what things were useful. That's just something you develop over time, but you kind of have to use them all to get that. So I'm just going to go over some that are like a little bit useful and maybe you didn't know you can do. First of all, everything is prefixable, just like Vim. So if I want to copy this tab with yank tab yt, I can do 3yt, and then it'll copy it three times, and then same with like 3x to close all three of them. That's somewhat useful. I only really need to do that for applications where I know the state is going to be updated, because it's like a React app or something, and I want to like have kind of fallback points, sometimes useful for weird websites. Another one is to be able to yank links, you can do yf and then Let's say I want to copy my YouTube R, and now that's copied to clipboard, so I can paste it in. You can see it'll come up like that. Another one is to be able to edit the URL. So a lot of people, including myself, a lot of the time will just do Control L, and then you can start editing. But you can actually do GE, and then edit like that. One of the most useful is the ability to jump into search bars. So an amateur in Vimium will do F and then RA, and then you're like searching for stuff. You can actually just type GI, and then you'll get jumped there. By the way, don't condone LinkedIn. It's a terrible website, but hella people message me on it, so I keep it open as a channel of communication. One that's interesting is the ability to go up and down in URL hierarchy. Now this is a little bit weird, and I often forget to do it, but let's say I had a route here like test. That's this is a static site, so it, it'll fail, but you can do GU and then go up in the URL hierarchy so you can see it pop that slash. And then you can also do G capital U and that'll go to the root directory. So this is useful for going home instead of like F and then clicking home on a website that has something. So for instance, if I were to open GitHub and then slash like notifications, and then I clicked on like a specific thing, and then I want to go to the root, just like back to home, I can do G capital U, and then that'll pop all the way back. So yeah, that one is sometimes useful. GS to go to source, sometimes useful too, instead of like inspecting. I don't often do that, but sometimes it's nice. Now there's a lot of features that I don't tend to use just because I've developed habits after so long. So for instance, you can open your history with like O, or you can open, like bookmarks with B or open tabs with, I think it's capital T, yeah. So I don't use those. First of all, I don't love how the UI looks, but whatever. I just like use the tab commands and I just search in here. And the thing is, I try not to use a browser all that much. There's like five different tabs I have. If you have a complex workflow where there's like tons of nested documentation you wanna get to and you want like a whole bookmark manager thing, that's great. I don't use the web like at all pretty much. I don't know, I just don't have that many places to go. So it's it's not something I've like invested that much time into the workflow for, but just casual browsing, like those are some features I like. Also, I know a lot of people will ask about my link hints, which are white instead of yellow, which I think is just nicer and more minimal. There's a way to change that in CSS, custom CSS for Vimium C, at least Vimium C, that's the version I use. There's also other things like surfing keys some people have recommended to me, but honestly, I've found this and it's worked, so I've stuck with it. Another super useful shortcut is the ability to copy images to your clipboard, something like often there's no better way to do than like right click copy, which is sucks. So what you can actually do is YI for yank image, and then if I type S, it'll just copy that to clipboard. It won't paste like nicely anywhere, but take my word for it, it's copied. Another one that's super useful, this is pretty basic, but some people don't use this still, is H and L, capital H and L, to go forward and backward in history. So, for instance, if I Google something, like I just Google my name, and then I go to my website again, and I want to go back, I can just do capital H, and then that'll take me back. 